Oh man, these are good. Uh, first up, guest fee fees. Nancy Pelosi went to Taiwan to check up on her NVIDIA investment today. God, that's funny. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I know somebody else in the comment section said that we're on the brink of war with China. Who knows, maybe. Uh, just Google fourth turning and uh, you'll see how it probably might be. Who knows? And then uh, Mr. Blue says, I'll return in mid to late 2023 if things possibly change, buying hole and breath. That's probably the best investment strategy I've ever heard, quite honestly. <clears throat> just letting go is going, oh, I'll be here later. And that's pretty much it. Just set it and forget it as far as like, if you want a dollar cost average, don't do anything. Right now, it's just one of those times when we're going to be in a lull. I think we're going to be in a lull, sideways chop for quite some time. Uh, da, da, da. Matthew says, hey, Rob, would you say that all affected, that all, everybody affected by Celsius should fill in that form? Will it do anything? Will we not be getting anything if we don't? It couldn't hurt. I'll just tell you that. It'll cost you about five minutes. That's how long it took me to fill it out. And uh, go from there. Again, these are for New York residents as well. So uh, I believe you have to be a New York resident, but couldn't hurt. That's all I can tell you. So yeah, fill out that form, tell them that, hey, there was some uh, shenanigans going on with what I was told, as opposed to the terms and conditions, which were clearly not aligned. Uh, no, never says, <laughs> but it was a great opportunity to use the you had one job line. I should have done that. Uh, Jason says, I think they got tired of me. Oh, speaking of which, I trust. Just got a text right now. I'll read it to you. I can't tell you who it's from, but they said, hey, FYI, we're expecting trading to be live within one to one and a half hours. This is at 1.30. Right now it's 2.20, so expect that I'll be up in 45 minutes. Phones will be back on for customer service, email communications going out, social media communication as well. I've already talked to them about uh, their abysmal effort for communication, and I was like, don't tweet. People, that's not a very good look for you guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> Talking too fast. It's not a good look to tweet out your responses. To be a little bit more professional, maybe use email, just saying. And constant emails. You can curse, that's nice. We need less scammers. Bobby shouts, photographer, photographer extraordinaire. Rob, where did you move? <clears throat> so you're in El Paso a lot. Uh, we still live in Puerto Rico. Just we're doing a prolonged vacation here in El Paso, Texas. Who vacations in El Paso? This guy. Hey, Rob, what about ETH? Merger's coming up. Sounds like it's going to do pretty well. Buy the rumor, sell the news situation, potentially. It's up to you. Uh, <laughs> someone says, is this real? Capo says, it's a green screen. I'm in my mom's basement right now, trying to be quiet to not wake her up. This is all green screen. That's right. Tommy, bonjour. Michael, throw a pool in the chair. I, if I throw a pool, it'll just knock down the green screen. It's not, it doesn't work like that. Nick says, what about Pelosi? What about, I got to tell you, pretty ballsy play. You know, China comes out and says, don't you do it. She's, and she's okay. And she goes right to Taiwan. Uh, what a, that's a good one. Great another bridge to get hacked. War is coming. Hey there, Rob, UGP. Hello. Dead Iguana. Rob doesn't have a good track record when it comes to people in interviews and chills. Look at Voyager. LOL. Ha <laughs> ha. It's a good one. You know, but it is a good point. Dead Iguana is a good point. I talked about Voyager and Celsius for a lot. And unfortunately, with centralized exchanges, like what me and Ken were talking about, you'll never know the dealings that they do behind the scenes. Like, I had no idea that uh, they were doing uncollateralized loans. I had to collateralize my loans. I'm just a small guy. You would think that uh, making loans over a half a billion dollars, you'd want some collateral. But I guess not. So you'll never know about those things. And that's why Ken had that great point. He goes, he talks about this is why I think DeFi is going to win because there's so many people looking at it. There's so many people that can take a look at the on-chain analysis. There's so many people that can call anybody out. And actually, after we talked, he was talking about how they had, somebody bought five Diamond Hands NFTs on the Meld platform. And he was notified within like an hour of like somebody who was looking at on-chain analysis going, is this legit? He's like, look, that will never happen in centralized exchanges because you can't see the, what the inner happenings are going on. But with the DeFi, you can. So it's one of those things. Slow and steady wins the race. That's right. 
<clears throat> Ron says, Danny, you become my favorite, more knowledgeable YouTuber. Thanks. I'm moving my ADA to DNews. Thank you for the first time and effort you put into your videos. Look, if you don't know what to do with your uh, Cardano or ADA, there's a great, well, pretty good pool, stake pool with DNews. There's a link in the description. It calls Stake with DNews or Cardano Staking with DNews. It takes you to a video. It's about 25 minutes or so. It shows you everything you need to know about how to stake it and all those things. And also, you know what's great about Cardano on staking? It never leaves your wallet, ever. Like you have control of your private keys. So when people talk about how Cardano is like, it doesn't really work that well and everything else can't build on it. First of all, a lot of different things in the ecosystem moving. And second of all, they crushed, they crushed the ease of use and how to actually stake Cardano. They did. Tell me who's easier. YSK, I was just listening to Bankless podcast and they were talking about DeFi and the problem with tokenomics and DAO and how it's really not set up like should and part of it like, they're probably right. Look, here's the thing with, with DeFi. And we just saw it. There's very few protocols to get it right right now. This is where all the problems and the hassles come in and where all the testing comes in and where most people get screwed over. I'm, I got to admit, that's why I'm kind of staying, I'm not kind of, I am. I'm staying on the sideline just, just seeing who gets wrecked, who screws up, and who actually does the right thing at the right time with the right people and moves forward and doesn't get destroyed. That's all I really care about. If you can make it through this, this, this bear run and the next ones, you'll be good to go. So I just look at the ones that keep getting hacked. And that's it. Ah, and this is, this is a, a point I should have made a long time ago. And Fia is right. Humans are corrupt by nature. And until they don't evolve, they're not to be trusted. Everybody is a liar, except me. <laughs> just kidding. I lie too. Let's be honest. No one is perfect. We're all liars. We're all cheats and, and we all have dark sides to us, right? Humans are corrupt by nature, which is why, like these, like I talked about, these centralized players, it's just human nature to screw up like that. It's human nature to do these wrong things. And of course, people say, well, I would never do those things. Of course, you wouldn't, but you're not like everybody. Everybody's different. That's why I think I put a lot of trust in, in these crypto projects, the ones that actually are making it, because you can eliminate those emotions, those, those wrongdoings, those uh, underlying tones of human nature and just move to the crux of what it's supposed to be. It's just supposed to be to help you and me move forward in life uh, as far as with finances. And that's what DeFi is supposed to do. Centralized exchanges just took that and they perverted it in, in a crazy way. And uh, now here we are. And I think that's most centralized exchanges, even the ones that haven't gotten wrecked yet. Uh, I'm planning to learning use DEXs more. Me too. I should probably be doing a lot more of that. Uh, <laughs> John Wallace says, eight is the best vaporware out there. And then Purple Vincent says, a vaporware you can build on. And just so you know, there's this, uh, let me bring this up. So I know people like to talk about Cardano and its vaporware, and I get it because that's what a lot of people have said. You know what people also used to say all the time? Diamond hands, never sell, keep holding on forever. That's dumb. I mean, it's not the greatest uh, advice you could ever give to somebody. You got to take some profits along the way, unless you're just going to like hold for 20, 30 years. You can do that. I just don't think that's the right strategy for me. I can't tell you what to do, obviously. But for vaporware, Cardano, there's a link in the description. It's called Cardano Vaporware or Ghost Chain. That's what it was. This was the ecosystem in 2020. This is the one in 2021. This is November 2021. This is also April 2022. That's the ecosystem. Here it is for the 6th of June 2022. All the projects being built on Cardano, wallet, stable coins, oracles, NFT marketplaces, community data, dev team, developer tool, identity solution, incubator, so on and so forth. And then, of course, if you want to really dig it down, here is uh, how much is being staked. If, I don't know if you can see it, but it's 72% of the entire circulating supply is being uh, staked right now. 72%. And I don't know if you've ever staked Cardano, but there's no lockup periods. You can stake and unstake it that same day. So if we take a look here, the staking ratio, okay, 71.43. I'll round up 72%. Market cap is 15 billion. The staking market cap, 11 billion. That's not too bad. And it's ranked number three. So... And then, of course, people will say, what about DeFi, Rob? What about DeFi? Well, 
The total amount of DeFi, if you take out DeFi Llama, is $72.53 billion. Uh, Ethereum is by far the biggest winner or the biggest one that as far as locked up, $45 billion. Not going to take that away. Ethereum's they, they're crushing it. However, Bitcoin on DeFi is only $118.55 million. And Cardano just beats Bitcoin in this one, 118.56. So I understand how people say, ah, it's vaporware. But is it? Is it? Is it really? Just asking the question. All right. So let's see. What else do we have? Uh, my opinion, Algorand. Very smart people behind it. Let's see if they can scale. I'm waiting for that. And I'll uh, go from there. I don't know. I own some. Let me rephrase that. I left some on Voyager. Part of my portfolio is still stuck over there. So we'll see. Maybe Voyager just owns it. Puerto Rico soon. Yeah, September, October, we go back, which is great. Exactly. It's the, this is not an air-conditioned room. I think it's like 97 today. So it means like 102 in here. But I'm okay with the heat. Uh, let's see. Uh, hey, Rob, would you consider building and organizing up your playlist section? I would consider it, but I'm not going to do it uh, because I got there's a ton of other things to do. I should probably just get my assistant to do it. So, yeah, I probably should do that. But I'm doing some big upgrades for the website, danteacherscrypto.com, 100% free website. Also, I'm getting together the uh, my 2024, 2025 uh, bull run strategy, which should be out this week. And... Uh, I'm going to do some radically different things for me. Uh, what's this say? Digital Cable says, Rob, would you be interested in posting the show as a daily audio podcast in the Fountain app? Bitcoin Lightning based podcast? Uh, yeah, sure, I guess. M Mr. McPickle says, old people like the heat. That's true. We do. Let's see. How is your computer not exploding? So I have a, a, a chill pad right here. I've Learn that if I keep it out here and I don't have a chill pad, it starts it starts getting glitchy. So I have a chill pad. It's like a little, it's like a freezer pad that you stick in the freezer and take it out when you want it. Uh, let's see. Great info. Don't forget to Okay. So that's it, everybody. Is that it? That is it. So look, that's it for today. 45 minutes. It's pretty good. We got through... Uh, Pretty long news session. And uh, again, Ken from Mel, I want to say thanks so much for going on. The stuff that he tells me behind the scenes, dynamite. Can't tell you though, unfortunately. But no, I'm just kidding. He doesn't really say much. But it was a good one. So Ken, thanks again for stopping by. And everybody here who's here hanging out with me on a Tuesday, thanks for stopping. I appreciate you guys. I do. If you do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe. Or one of those two would be great. But if not, I'll see you tomorrow. So look, thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one, which will be manana. So adios. Have a good rest of your day.